Hey guys, in today's video, we're building something very interesting. So this is an AI powered flow chart generator. And all I have to do is describe the diagram in like natural language. So I'll say flow chart for the web development process. Okay. And it's going to take this prompt, send it to the GPT-4 API, and it's going to uh, send back this um, markdown file with diagram, with how the diagram should be. And I'm going to render this in uh, a mermaid component. And this is how I'm going to get this nice little diagram. Okay. And I can, I can obviously have these different um, <clears throat> themes here. So I'm going to go with the forest theme uh, or, or even the uh, dark theme, which looks very nice. And I can copy this SVG and I can download this SVG as well. And I have this nice little code window here. As you can see, I can edit it. I can copy the code. So all of that is there. I have my links for the GitHub project and the Twitter, so you can click on these and uh, find me. <laughs> and this is my open API key, so I've, I've kept it here and I'm using the GPT-4 model. There are two options, 3.5 Turbo or GPT-4. I'm using the GPT-4 option. Now, uh, to, to, the, to, the, to create this uh, app, right, this web app, uh, I'm not a front-end developer, right, as you guys know. So we're gonna be using uh, this, which is Mermaid. It's a, it's a component uh, created by GitHub. So which takes in this kind of a, uh, the markdown file and creates a nice little diagram for you. So this is the component. So I've not built this from scratch. It's, I'm using a component called uh, Mermaid. And uh, for the other components, we're using something called as Lucid React. Right? So we're gonna be using many things from here, uh, like the icons, for example. And then I have something called as Jot AI or Jotai. I don't know how <laughs> this is pronounced. And I'm gonna be using this um, for, for some things uh, which we'll talk about. And then I have the Radix UI. I'm gonna be using some components from here. So that's, that's how this whole thing is built. Uh, all of these components are from different libraries. Um, like obviously I, I don't have time to build a very detailed front end. So that's why I use component libraries. And um, the whole project is there on my GitHub. It's uh, I'm Michael Sharma 90 on GitHub. So Flowchart AI, make sure you check it out. Uh, and uh, I'll explain, I'll, we'll, we'll quickly go over the code very fast. The reason this, uh, now this project is in, in TypeScript. The reason this is in TypeScript is because of this uh, component that I wanted to use. Now I, I've been using Streamlit for AI applications, as you guys know, if you've been following this channel. And uh, Streamlit doesn't have a component like this, at least nothing that I know of, so in case you guys know anything, uh, please let me know. But for uh, for this, I had to use Next.js and, and TypeScript. And so I had this nice little component and uh, this component was also very easy to find. But, but obviously Next.js is like dedicated for front end, right? You can find any kind of components. I found the input component also very easily. So everything was uh, very easy to build. So now let's go over the code uh, very quickly. And uh, like I said, the code is already there on, on GitHub. Make sure you check it out. The reason why I built this is because I'm researching for a small feature for my product, which is Armor.ai, as you guys know. Uh, that's the startup that I run. And this is why I, that's why I look like I haven't slept in many days because I really haven't. <laughs> I've been building uh, stuff. Uh, so yeah, so let's, let me take you through the, the features really quickly. So here you can see that I'm running the project uh, with using uh, npm run dev in my terminal and it runs on localhost 3000. And this is what the code looks like. So uh, the, the most important thing here, right, is the uh, utils file. That's the most important file here. Everything else doesn't really have a lot of logic. All the logic is basically in the utils.ts file. So if you're interested, uh, you can just go through that file and, and you'll know the entire project. But uh, my job is to take you through the entire project, so that's that's what I'll do. Uh, now, the the thing you wanna start with are the components, okay? So like I, like I mentioned, all of these components, right? Uh, like this this chat, uh, this text input and this this whole place where the diagram is generated, it's called mermaid. So that component and this code block component, all of these are different components. Now I have a separate component for this as well, which is accepting my open API key and then, uh, and it's not showing you the open API, API key because it's like type password, right? And I have the selection. Also all of this, this is also an, uh, this complete component. I've treated the uh, the nav also like a, like a, like a different component, right? So everything is organized as different components. And uh, that's, those are the things that are mentioned here. So if you click on UI, this is where you see like the smaller stuff, like the buttons, the hover card, the, uh, the, how the input is going to be, and uh, your labels, right? And your popover, your selection, your text area, all of this is mentioned in the UI folder. 
And in the, in the components folder is where you'll see all those components that I was talking about. So the API key input is its own little component, right? Where you see that the type is password and that means that you won't see the API key actually being there, you'll just see those dot, dot, dots. And this is the ID, this is the placeholder that, you know, the open API key, so that uh, is that blurred text that appears, the, the placeholder text. And then I have the selection for the AI model itself. So open AI model and then I have selections between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 so you can select any of these. And uh, yeah, and then if it's changed, then you handle with this one value ch change. So not a not lot, of, lot of logic happening in uh, the components, but we'll still go over all of these. And then you have the chat input itself where we are asking the user to describe the diagram in natural language, okay? And then you have your chat message, uh, chat message where we're displaying the chat message. And then you have the code block. So code block is this whole part. Uh, so, so that's what we have also defined there. So you can copy uh, the code if you wanted to, right? So all of the stuff that you see here, the, the copy the code and edit it if you want. So all of those options have been defined out here. And then you have your icons, right? Like your Twitter icon and all of that stuff. And then you have your main, so all the icons I'm getting from Lucid React, as you know. And then you have your main nav. So this is where you'll sh we'll, uh, show flowchart AI and the whole uh, navigation part, starting from flowchart AI to, to all of these things will, will appear here. And then you have your mermaids uh, component, right? So there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff written here, uh, but there's not much happening. It's just basically stuff like copy to clipboard and uh, draw the chart, which uses the, uh, the, the text generated above to draw a chart in, inside mermaid. And, uh, and yeah, and handling the theme change for, because we have those different themes, right? Um, and, and then that gets stored to local storage. So all of that logic basically to work with the, uh, to work with the UI, right? All of this logic is, uh, is being handled in this component. So let me come back here. Yeah, so that's, that's what you see here. And then you have your site header uh, logic related, uh, like the component related to that. And that's what is there in the components folder. And if you think about it, that's, uh, that kind of covers the entire application because all the components are covered, all the UI is covered. Now in the app folder, the page.tsx uh, TSX, uh, brings everything together. So you have your please enter API key if somebody's submitting uh, without the API key and then please enter a message if somebody's uh, you know, trying to press enter without putting a message in the, in the chat box. Uh, in the input text, so and and, and uh, handling responses, something went wrong, and all of that stuff. So uh, the page TSX is bringing all of the all of that together, uh, and uh, similarly with layout.tsx, working with the layout, and uh, yeah, that's your app folder. And now let's come to the most important one, which is the utils.tsx. Yes, okay. Here, what's happening is you have your system prompt, which is. You are an assistant to help user build diagrams with Mermaid. You only need to return the output Mermaid code block. Do not include any description or do not include these three backticks, right? Don't, don't have those. Uh, so this, is, this file is where all the magic is happening, all the logic is happening because this is where we also call the open API stream. Like we, we have our open AI uh, stream. So, so when I say stream, I basically mean that when, when I was showing you the output, right, the output was v being generated, uh, you didn't see the output being generated in, in just one go. It just, it streamed, like, word by word. So that's a, that's a stream. And, uh, yeah, and that's kind of important because you don't want the user to keep waiting and thinking that is the API working or not. So the stream basically helps the user uh, get an output quickly. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is where I call the API. So this, I'm using await fetch and I'm calling the, the open AI API, the chat completions API, and I'm gonna say that the, the stream should be true, I'm gonna set it to true, and then uh, I'm gonna have uh, JSON the Trinkify for the model name, for the messages, like the system message that, that we just created above, the system prompt, and then our temperature is zero. Temperature basically is that value where, you know, it's between zero and two, if you, if you have it as two, you'll get more ambiguous output, if you have it at zero, you'll get a more deterministic output from, uh, uh, chat GPT. Uh, because this is a diagram application, I want it to be as deterministic as possible. If this was like a uh, like a very chill kind of a question answer kind of an application, I would have it up like closer to two. That's how I do it. And uh, so here, if if it's not 200, which means if everything is not all right, I'll say open AI, AI API return an error. And uh, but if everything is 200, everything is good to go. Then I'm going to create my readable stream and I'm going to stream the output. 
to that uh, component. And then I have some code related to parsing the code from message and serializing the code just to ensure everything is in the right format that I want it to be. Uh, let me see here, yeah. Um, here we have that function, chat function, which basically calls our OpenAI string, which we defined here in the utils.tx. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. That's the uh, important, that, that's the entire project. You have stuff like types for navigation and for the different types of themes, uh, different themes that you have created. And yeah, that's it, that's the entire project. So um, make sure you, you run it and check it out on your own, test it out a bit. And uh, if you want, you can you can host this project as your own project somewhere, and uh, you can try to make money from it. You know that's a really nice, really nice idea. Maybe uh, because I don't have any use for it. I, as you know, uh, like I mentioned, I'm just looking for a very specific little uh, feature for my own software, which is going to explain something very specific uh, to a user who's using my project. Now, don't forget to subscribe because you get such awesome content uh, from my channel. Right, it's all all for free. And this video is going to be a part of the LLM and Gen AI project series. Make sure you check out all the other projects in that series because you'll learn a lot of AI and LLM uh, through that. Then there are some LLM concepts that I've shared in the LLM concepts series. Make sure you check, check that out as well. And then you have uh, the 50 project Rust project playlist and the 55 killer Golang pro project playlist on my channel apart from the other playlists like the system design playlist and the tech architecture playlist. Uh, make sure you check out all of these and uh, don't forget to also check out uh, the links. So if you go to my YouTube and you check out these links, you have the link to the Discord community. Uh, it's a free uh, Discord community for everybody who's uh, who's following my channel. And this is where we discuss jobs, discuss how discuss technology, we hang out, we chill, we, we talk about a lot of stuff, uh, even sometimes physics and philosophy. <laughs> so make sure you check it out. You just get to hang out with uh, like-minded people, right? Your tech bros, uh, those kind of people hang out out here. So uh, make sure you, you come here. And also, I'm always there to, to answer your queries and answer any questions that you might have related to your career or whatever. So uh, come hang out out here. And the other thing I want to talk about is my Golang AI course. So if you are a Golang developer looking to upskill, uh, this is the course you want to enroll in. It's 26 hours of detailed content, extremely detailed planning exercise for each of these projects. We're building six different projects, real world um, projects, production level, right? And you get well documented code, you, you get uh, each line of code explained, and then it's important real world and high value projects that can turn into monetizable products. So just like today's video was a, a high value project that can be turned into a monetizable product, here also that's what you get to learn. You get to uh, build the AI Discord bot, the Whisper API bot, Telegram AI bot, and the Kubernetes AI Assistant, Terraform AI Copilot, a very powerful and com comprehensive terminal AI Assistant. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video.